In this application, I'm going to take a look at a program called Fatback, which is comes standard here on Backtrack 5, and it's a forensics tool that's used for file carving. and allows us to pull out files that were marked for deletion or flagged for deletion within the FAT file system. So I just threw in a flash drive in this operating system here, and the reason why I did it is because I formatted it for FAT, and I threw some files on there, deleted a couple to see how this is going to work. And So basically, let's go ahead and run it. Go to Applications, Backtrack, we're going to go to Forensics, and I'm going to look for the file carving. There it is, for Forensics Carving Tools, and there's Fatback. And an interesting thing about this application, if you look, DoD Computer Forensics Lab, it was actually created for the uh, U.S. government's forensics, and you can see this even on a .gov email here. So we're, we've got it now on Backtrack to use. It's a pretty good little application just to find deleted files from a FAT file system. So let's go ahead and actually work on this. Well, before I actually do that, what I want to do is find out what disk to use. I told you I want to use my flash drive. Well, let's just run a quick fdisk command and with a dash L to list these and look at what device it is and there it is. I've only got one partition on my flash drive so this is going to be just focused on this one partition. I'll tell you that if you've got more than one partition uh, which we would have seen SDC2 or an SDC3 if you've got more than one partition then you're going to want to run it for each partition not for the whole device so keep that in mind when you're doing this. Let's go ahead and run this and we'll go ahead and type in Fatback as the program. Uh, actually before I do that let me also tell you one more thing to do. I'm going to actually navigate to the desktop uh, and the reason why is because whenever we run our application I want to show you that it creates a log automatically at the location we're running it from. So you'll notice that now I'm on the desktop and if I run it from the desktop you're going to notice over here a log is going to get populated as well to keep track of the things that I've done. So I wanted to see, let you see that populate here or be created as we do this. So now let's go ahead and type in Fatback. We're going to go ahead and do the dash A, which is to auto uh, or automate this. And so you can see the dash A is for auto. And I'm going to let this go ahead and do this uh, non interactively, just let it run. And I'm going to also type in the location. So I'll just do the forward slash DEV SDC1. That's a partition that I want to use. And I need to create an output file for this to basically put my files that it recovers in. So I'm going to put the dash O. A lowercase o there and then we're going to go ahead and type in let's see the forward slash root desktop and create a file output that back all right so that's the folder it's going to create on my desktop here called output fat back and it will put those files that i deleted in there so i'll just go ahead and hit enter and luckily i've got a real small flash drive so this only took a couple seconds to run you'll see the log file that was created if i double click it you're going to see all the information that's just happened and so you've got a nice log of what it recovered and so forth but on your file system and I've got a file here or a folder that's got the files that I recovered. Now I just threw some old photos that real old photos, high school photos um, from graduation in here uh, some different things in PNG and you can see it pulled out some of those files this one here looks like it's got a problem uh, with a question mark there and me have only recovered part of that file but I was able to recover some of the things that we've had in the past. Let's see, this one here is a photo, but it looks like it only recovered some of the binary information or the bits uh, from this. And so some of it uh, may have been lost, rewritten uh, through the process of putting files in here and deleting them. One thing I do want to point out is the fact that I recently just formatted this with a FAT file system. This flash drive was loaded with all kinds of files before I did that. And so what we've got now is the fact that it did not recover any of the files from the previous file system. It only recovered the files since I formatted it as FAT and then actually hit delete on. So keep that in mind while you're using this. It only is going to recover files from a FAT file system and it's only going to recover files from the current file system that have been deleted. But all in all, this is a good application that's going to allow us to recover anything that's marked for deletion on a FAT file system.